violent scenes have erupted in Sydney as hundreds of Muslim protesters stormed the city. All I see is the bad images of them. Flaring again in Hyde Park, capsicum spray used to move on the rioters. There's a lot of violence and people like this hurting me and saying, like acting wrong. With no apparent plan, the hundred strong crowd of mostly men stormed through the city. Police caught off guard. They're represented very badly by the media. All the Muslims are not terrorists. Islam doesn't preach you about terrorism. Protesters vowing this will not be the last time they take to the streets to spread their message. I don't believe in the media what they say. Was they going to give you a bad side to it? I think one of the biggest challenges is young Muslim men have very poor role models and they don't know how they should behave. One of the things I researched was what we call protest masculinity and that is when somebody gets a new face, you get in their face twice as hard. Outraged and angry in Sydney's CBD. They feel a bit isolated. I think there's also sometimes a clash between um, cultural backgrounds. Australia was a white Australian country. It's now multicultural. There's a whole lot of people who are not really comfortable with that. Uh, g'day guys, this is your old mate, the fat Aussie bastard, coming at you loud and proud once again, gang, is they want to hold a national ban the burqa day. All of us Aussies uh, basically don a burqa for the day and go about your daily business. Sutton, this is my house. In my time, we had rules. We respected our parents. Today, I see none of that. I'm 15 years old, Dad. I, could, I should be able to go whenever I want, where, wherever I Son, want. Son, I will let you out, but not till 1.30. That's but unreasonable that, time. That's too early. Every single other person my age goes out till 2.30 like in the I morning. Told you. Do you know the things that happen out there? The you drugs, the alcohol. The, you live you under my roof. Can we have a time out? Time out. I think we have many children, they can't talk to their parents yeah. in you know, a relaxed way. They can't tell them about their problem. And sometimes, some children, they don't have anyone to talk about their problems. There's young people at this school, males and females, having a uh, cultural and religious gap with their parents. Yeah. They've got uh, different sets of expectations. They're expected to be good model citizens of mainstream Australian society, yet at the same time they're expected to be good Muslim or good Lebanese citizens at home. Most of the parents here in our community coming from overseas, they have different mentality to the kids because they were brought here. Yeah. And they have different standards, different principles. Uh, it's 1.30 in the morning, what are you doing here late? I was over his house. 1.30 in the morning over his house. Yeah. Your curfew is 11.30 and now it's 1.30. I mean, so you're going for two weeks and again you're in. I don't want to go to my room. Why not? I'm your father. You're supposed to respect me. Because I, sh I should go out sometimes. You're only 15. But you never let me go nowhere. No, I do, but your curfew's 11.30 and now it's 1.30 in the morning. But 11.30 is nothing. I, I don't care. I'm your father. You live in my house. You, you abide by my rules. I think there's added pressure on young men in general. Um, and Muslim men, I say young men fit into that category. So instead of doing the Prophet Sunnah, where you control your anger, you show good behaviour when people show you bad behaviour. To our young boys, they think the way to go and what they're role modelled by their imams and by their fathers is if somebody picks on you, you're a victim, so you attack back. If they still like, if they still like us, they like us. If they don't like us, it's not a problem. They can have their own opinion. It doesn't really matter to us as people, but yeah. There's been a number of, of events um, you know, that, that have happened worldwide that have um, affected us as Muslims. Yeah, they always like um, put Muslims down, like saying, oh, they're terrorists, they're this and that, this and that, around like the media. And it just likes to make me feel like, um, I don't know, like makes me feel weird sometimes. So how that impacted on some students, on, on people in, within the community. Um, I think, as I said, ignorance and fear produce violence and aggression. I think it's about youth who've got poor role models and they don't understand the Prophet Sunnah. They don't know how to behave. They've got nobody showing them how to behave. Like because when I walk around and like when I meet new people, they go like, like when I meet them, 
they're like um, what religion are you? I'm like Muslim. They're like sometimes they give like a weird look on like, to me, and like I don't know, like, I don't feel comfortable. If we start to look at the Prophet's Sunnah and we read the Quran and we start to live with integrity, that means we tell the truth and we behave honestly, then our community will lift. I'm proud that I'm a Muslim. I, 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 like, I always tell everyone that I'm proud. If they're going to act good, then okay, it's like, we don't mind, but if they're going to act bad, then we have to have, solve it. We once had a teacher, the teacher of teachers. He changed the world for the better and made us better creatures. Oh Allah, we've shamed ourselves, we've strayed from Al Mu'allim. Surely we've wronged ourselves, what will we say? Front of Muhammad, he was Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammad, mercy upon mankind. He was Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Teacher of humankind, Abu Al Qasim, Ya Habibi, Ya Muhammad, Ya Shafi'i, Ya Muhammad, Khayru Khalqillah, Muhammad, Ya Mustafa, Ya Imam Al Mursalin, Ya Mustafa, Ya Shafi'i Al Alamin.